Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Build Some Ships. This is episode 9. Uh, today we're going to start work on our first capital ship, which is going to be a destroyer, battleship, a little devastator type vessel. Um, it'll hold a couple ships, but I will be doing a carrier slash world ship, I want to call it. Basically, it will be your base. Um, it'll have more of ship toting capacity and a little less combat but still pretty beefy combat wise this is going to be a large vessel about that size but it'll be more akin to our um, assault frigate here where it's meant specifically for combat so without any further ado I'm gonna get started on this build because this is gonna be a big build um, might take me a couple days you won't know that because I'll just con you know compile it into a video but yeah, I'm super looking forward to this. It'll be a lot of interior. It's going to take me a while, but it's going to be a lot of fun. This this is going to be the first ship that you'll basically want to board to help take over. Um, you know, because it'd be too too big, too many shields and stuff to really, unless you were like to completely pound it into oblivion with lots and lots of ships. Um, you'd have to concentrate everything. So it's, I'm going to try and make it so that you have to kind of get inside and take it over or whatever. So. Um, yeah, so I'll get started. Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, a couple days later, because I've been tweaking and like working on this thing for a few days now, a couple hours a day. So, uh, yeah, there's the uh, Destroyer. Our, uh, yeah, it's basically cap the first capital ship here. Um, super happy with how this thing turned out. Haven't tried it with combat yet. Um, I'm not really that worried about combat with it because it's got enough stuff that I don't think it's going to really <laughs> falter at all in that aspect. Um, shields out the wazoo. This thing is going to be impregnable. Um, there's a lot to go through here so I'm going to try and do it quickly. We've got on the dorsal here we've got a lot of uh, heavy cannons. We've got two broadsides here with top and bottom light ship cannons like the assault ship over there. Um, we've got more broadside cannons all along the sides here. So one, two, three, four, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so three, six t on the top for each side. So twelve on top. And we got, oh, these are fighter screens. We've got one, two, three. Three on the bottom, and lots of fighter screen fire. So you really don't want to bring a fighter down here. It's kind of a weak spot, I just noticed, on the bottom. I might fix that. Um, but yeah, t lots of shields on this thing. This thing has a lot of shields and a really fast recharge rate. Um, because of very specific reasons that I will go into after I show you a little bit more of the ship. But yeah, uh, maneuvers really well. I'll show you how that does this. We got three connectors down here at the bottom, so you can connect to other ships, uh, refuel real quick if you need to. They are all, uh, wired up. The only things on the ship that are not, um, connected with connectors are the top turrets here on the sides and on the wings. Um... The ones along the dorsal are, the broadsides there are. Uh, technically, this this should be played in creative, I think. I don't know if you can turn player death on in, in creative or not, but gearing up for the uh, deathmatch game here. Just to, uh, you know, figure all that out in a little bit. But for now, so this mod is awesome. This is the force field mod. Uh, I can't remember who does it, but it basically, this is airtight. If I turn on my my HUD there, you can see no oxygen, oxygen, and you're able to I'm gonna turn my light on. It's a little dark. Uh, you're able to fly through that with a ship and anything, and still like be fine. Like no no uh, no decompressurization. Um, you'd have to destroy these blocks to decompress it. But yeah, so here's the main hangar. As you can see, I designed it really cool looking in my opinion. I want it to look lived in and real and 
Like uh, we have two connectors in here with two small fighters. This isn't a carrier. Uh, it does carry four fighter ships, though, um, for defensive purposes. Um, they also have a full allotment of interior turrets to protect against borders, which is going to be the main um, main thing to combat this vessel is boarding boarding it and taking out from the inside. So we have uh, lots of interior turrets, so watch out for those. I'm not going to show you where they all are, um, but yeah. So here's the main hangar. We got the main hangar bay up in there. We got some cargo uh, crates here. Um, if you come in here, these are the airlock blocks. These are really cool. I just found these on the workshop. Basically, they're a one by one by one block. That's a door block, but it works as a as an airlock. So if there were no oxygen out here, and you were to push this button, it'll automatically, without timers or anything, cycle through and basically pressure uh, equalize the pressure so it doesn't explode if you're entering a non-oxygenated environment. So here's the main the main part of the ship and oh my gosh I love so much how this turned out. It took me a long time to get it right. But we have two large shield blocks here which fork with four capacitors on each so the recharge rate will be pretty good. Uh, we have four large reactors Tons of gyroscopes in this whole ship. Um, lots of these. These don't really do anything, but they, they look cool. They look more industrial, so I added them in a lot of places. Uh, more interior turrets, more gyroscopes, some oxygen tanks and generators. Um, the entry to the main hangar is duplicated on both sides. And this ship, I kind of made it a little complicated on the inside just for the expressive reason that the boarders will have a hard time finding a way around unless they watch this video of course um, so yeah you come up here this is the main hangar control if we jump in here real quick we can we have one three six are all connectors for the different areas of the ship uh, one would be for the the connectors you see straight forward underneath the bottom of the ship for large ship docking um, three is for this hangar here for these ships, um, I believe, yeah, and then um, there's another hangar on the front of the ship, so if we hit seven, I believe, yeah, seven will cr uh, close the blast doors. This is, this is like important for, b for boarding reasons. You don't want people, like, uh, or if the force fields go down, you don't want to depressurize. This is very important, so you want those, the controls for those uh, equally. Uh, readily available to push. So that's that for that. Um, we have a gravity generator here. And more displays in places, like lots of glass, and I wanted to more defense turrets. I really wanted it to look impressive. So if we, let me see, where do I want to show first? I'll show you this first. So this is. Um, very long winding process but I figured I'll show you anyway uh, might cut out some of this to keep things secret and that but we have in, uh, upper walkways here to get to different areas of the ship um, in the front of the ship we have more fighters I love that you can like walk along that's cool and then once again, airlocks everywhere just in case you become... So up here there is a dorsal fin access point to the ship. Um, will be well guarded. So I wouldn't recommend... Like It's it's meant to be boarded. You're going to die a couple times, but eventually you'll be able to get in. So... And this is a very long passage. So you kind of have to turn your jetpack off. Plus, no gravity up here. boots. Um, this is really just a doorway. There's oxygen up here. This is just a doorway to get to the... This is all mirrored, so this side of the ship looks exactly the same on the other. And if you come through this last airlock here... Yes, we are in the front hangar bays now. Um, these are like drop bays, so you can get inside the ship. Well, first, before you get inside the ship, we have buttons here. 
to open up the hangers and then disconnect the connector. Then when you get inside, all you have to do is turn on the engines and stuff and take off. Um, if the ship is moving, do not hit the connector thing because the ship doesn't have anything going on for it and it'll just keep... Like, it'll float and bounce around and destroy a bunch of stuff. So if the ship's moving, don't hit the connector, just the doors. If it's not moving, then you can hit both, jump in, turn on, and go. Um, communication with your team and your captain of the ship will definitely be important. Um, the ship is also can be just almost as effective without a captain um, as it is with one. And we, all we have up here is some um, gyroscopes and other important things behind lots of armor. So more, more in, like forward engineering, basically. So I'm gonna come in through here and uh, I'll cut this part out as I get back to the main engineering. But I'll I'll be back in a second and I get back up there. Oh, real quick though, before I go, I may as well talk about this since I'm thinking about it. Um, because of how long it takes to get to the front, it's very you know. It takes a long time, so getting up here, you're going to have to be sure you need that. Um, borders and stuff like that will be on the ship, probably. Hopefully, if, if everything goes the way it's planned. So the, the objective is to destroy both capital ships before you run out of ships. Um, so first objective for the opposing team will be to destroy your capital ship. Second objective would be to make you run out of ships to support with... Um, Anyway, so back in engineering here. So that leads up to the forward hangar. There are signs above every door so you know where it, what each door goes to. And then we have come up here. We got our med bay slash respawn point down in there. I won't show you that because there's glass up here. And then this way goes to the bridge. You can see down into there. And there's a red thing in there. I wonder what that is. Yeah, well, you won't find that out. You'll have to learn what that is yourself. Um... So, but if we go this way real quick, this is the main engineering council. If we come in here, we have our beacon that you know shows where the ship is. Um, we have our engineering council. Uh, I love the way this looked. So you got you know access to the five reactors right here. Data readouts on everything, and more piping and wires. I love the way this looks. This would be a really cool survival ship, although it's missing certain things that you would need to build into it like it doesn't have a refinery it doesn't have assemblers it doesn't have a lot of storage none that is piped up and if we come up here we're on the bridge bridge has blast shields just like the rest of the larger vessels in the ship in the uh, the army or the navy I should say uh, we have lots of defense up here so good luck if you're trying to get on board the the bridge but like I said bridge is important but not super important you could still do a lot of the stuff from engineering or down into the ship so you don't have to worry about that. We have a left and right gunner and they are set up specifically to control the right guns uh, or half the guns on the dorsal and the the right and left uh, broadsides and defensive stuff. Then we, in the middle we have a engineer station again so you can open and close doors, lock hangers, uh, stuff like that. Over here we have a button panel to open airlock doors, close airlock doors, blast shields, uh, blast shutters, and air vents. Um, yeah, and then this is the main part of the ship here. I'll give you a little bit of a flight. So this thing, so it, I also um, up the the speed. This thing's pretty slow. It controls pretty well, like the gyroscopes are accurate. It feels like a large ship. Um, it does spin really quickly, though. So there's that. That's cool. Um, but yeah, like this is taking a lot of movements from my mouse to turn this thing around. But I don't care. It's a capital ship. It should feel like this, and it definitely does. So. It's not like terrible for control, but it's not nimble like a fighter or a frigate or something like that. So, 
pretty. Uh, I'm really happy with the way the engines and everything turned out, though. I couldn't. I can't complain really with that. Um, so let me just bring this back around to bear. So I tried to mirror the colors, blend everything in. I tried to mirror the white and blue of like the small vessels to make it look more like it fits in. I think it definitely looks like it fits in as a capital ship in this vessels, in this uh, army, the EOL army, is what I'm calling this. So it'll be EOL, EOL versus something else. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I'm almost done. Like I only have one more capital ship to build in this series, and then I'll be building the other army. Um, and that one's going to be even less videos. I'll probably do all the fighters, build them, and then give you just like videos on the uh, on their what they they are, their names, and their abilities. Uh, unlike the the videos in this uh, one, which were more in depth, uh, looking at the Blah, 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 I can't speak. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be building another fleet. Like I said, we'll build the same types of ships, and I'll just do quick videos for each of those. Um, but as this series has gone on, you can see that I've, I'm have i learning more about... Oh. Where did you come from? Hmm. How odd. There's like... I guess I probably shouldn't. Uh, I wonder if any more of these things broke off or fell around. Let's go look. I don't see any more. Also, this is interesting that the stairs still work fine, even like this. Like super steep stairways, but they still work like stairs. It's cool. I hope they don't take that out of the game. Like it's not. I hope it's not a bug. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it doesn't look like anything else became dislodged, which is good. So, yeah, so the, the videos in the beginning of the, of the series were long. Um, I'm sure not everyone watched them all. They probably jumped around, which is fine. Um, I was still learning what works as far as YouTube videos go and what keeps people's attention, uh, which, like right now, I'm rambling. I'm sure a lot of you don't really care at all. So I'm going to... I think I've shown everything on this ship. Oh, um, somewhere on board this vessel, I've shown you in this video at some point, there is a button. And right now it's not armed and nothing's going to work, but it's a sabotage button. If you get boarders onto this ship and into that area, you can basically sabotage this vessel and there are warheads hidden in certain key areas of the ship to cripple it. So you get to that point, you hit that button, you have a minute to get out of the ship or to save it if you're the people on board um, <clears throat> excuse me before kaboom this whole ship will like the wings will, will fl probably come flying off I haven't tested any of that I won't test it um, until I'm 100% sure and make a backup of the ship but uh, yeah there if you get the ship off the off the workshop I would very carefully pick through the control panel put it on the HUD and find it, all the warheads if you don't want them, like people just randomly getting on board your ship and blowing it up. But for the, the deathmatch aspect of it, I figured there's a lot of shields on the ship, there's a lot of defenses, even on the inside, and people will probably, hopefully be on board trying to repel borders. But if you can get on here, and you can get inside, somewhere on board there is a button. And if you push this button, it'll explode the ship. Um, I wanted to be like the old Battlefield games where, or not Battlefield, Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, where you'd get on board the enemy ships, um, you destroy the reactors and things like that from the inside, and the ships would be crippled. So I kind of wanted that sort of feeling for this. I hope that works. Um, it might not, but if it does, it'll be sweet. So, yeah, uh, that's it for this, the EOL Burke, uh, destroyer class vessel. Um see the name right there. I love these letter blocks. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoy. We got some more defense. Lots of defensive, like ship defense, uh, small ship defense and stuff like that are all around the ship. 
Um, I don't think I showed you guys the the back here. Here's the back. More defense, rear defense, lots of engines. Very cool. Just the look of this ship is really, it's over 100 meters long, so 100 blocks long. Um, I think it's like three, four times, three and a half times the size of the uh, of the frigates. It's just upside down. It's totally upside down. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's three or four times the size of these. Oh, I love that way that you can see the front hangar bays there. All right, oh, sorry, you on there. Um, so yeah, uh, have a good day. Uh, feel free to like, share, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, a link to this ship will be placed in a separate video. Um, I'll do like a quick thing going over all the ships, and I'll put links to all of them on the workshop once I have them up. Uh, and you can download and try these ships for yourself. Uh, yeah, so uh, have a good day. Bye.